thank you very much uh, to our Vice Chancellor, the DBCs, uh, registrars, members of the staff, uh, Electoral Commission, led by the Chair, to newly elected USA members, outgoing and uh, fellow students. Good afternoon. Uh, let me start by saying that it has been a great privilege to me to have been given the opportunity to serve the University of Embu for academic as a chair for academic year 2022, 2023, 2022, 2023. And uh, the opportunity gave me tremendous opportunity as well to meet people in various positions and I want to say that I also met outstanding people throughout my life. It started in first year as a class rep. I went for delegate, I became representative and uh, lastly I'm the outgoing US chair. The journey started as long uh, as uh, becoming a leader in primary school, secondary, and today university. And I want to say that this is the first time that Gola Clinton is finishing his leadership position in style. And in style, I mean without kills, without excitement. I used to be activist, but today I say, but I'm finishing it in style. Let me start by, uh, let me again say, and uh, what a gratitude to my fellow comrades who have been trusting me with leadership position for now three academic years. For sure, there must be something these guys were seeing in me. Let me also take this opportunity to, opportunity to thank the university management led by our able and caring vice chancellor, Professor Daniel Mugendi, who is more than a dad to me. Let me also thank members of staff for supporting and uh, teaching staff. These people gave me and listened to me when I raised complaints. They didn't take it personally me and they corrected me whenever I went from and I'm saying I'm successful because of them. Let me also pay my tribute to my best friend, Onyango Tieno, aka my TA. This man kept on encouraging me when things were not right. He encouraged me to forge on and he told me that the sky is the limit. My sincere gratitude to security officers led by our able Inspector General, uh, Mr. Njuguna. He worked with me, he encouraged me as well, he received my calls, sometimes past midnight. I want to say, God bless you. Gratitude to past government. <coughs> we walked through thick and thin, we went through a lot, and uh, I want to say, we gave it our best to what we failed to do. I think the new government will take over and they will finish what we started. Let me also say a word of gratitude to my family members, village members who kept on uh, encouraging me and praying for me. And they used to tell me that the sky is the limit and they, they are constantly telling me that I have a bright future as far as leadership is concerned and they really received me, their son, after completion of institutional politics. And I'm promising them that the 2022 will be in the ballot. Let me also say that today marks the end of my institutional politics. And I'm not saying that the end of my leadership. We'll continue meeting, we'll continue encouraging one another and to our incoming leaders. The statistics puts it clear that 50% didn't vote. They didn't even know what was going on, and they are the masses that you are going to represent. I'm very sure some did support you, 
some supported you because they had no option and they will be the first people to protect your government. Otherwise, thank you very much to my team, Anastasia. You gave it your best, Mom. And everything is going to be okay. Amazing. If we carry God, we carry everything. Amazing. May God protect the University of Ebu. May God protect everybody here. And may God continue guiding our nation, Kenya, as we prepare for the future greatness as far as leadership is concerned. Thank you very much, and may God bless us. for the good job over the last um, one year. Um, it is said, I just actually believe that true leaders don't just create followers. What they do is they create more leaders. And so how the two have spoken, they have actually spoken like true leaders. You know, I like, I like what they have said. I like that they have said that they have told the, the incoming team black and white. I have just noticed in black and white that you should learn to separate logic from your biases. And any time you want to consult, the lines of communication are open. And that is very encouraging. Thank you so much for that. So we are now going um, to the climax of this event. We want to have um, our newly elected council sworn in. And at this juncture, I want to welcome um, Ms. Anne Dregua to um, take us to the next step. Can you put it together for me? I know me. Thank you. I'm not an Indegua. I'm just a PJ assistant. You don't know Thank you, because of time, they will allow us to conduct the next session. And then she has the one to say before we start off. Thank you. But to know the song up. Thank you, Jake. I have much to say. I think you will be set. I do have my leader. We are liars, our own gangs. For those who have served successfully, congratulations. We have both the lives. I don't know if you have as much as you have. I've seen that you kept the university safe and peaceful. For those who are coming in, please continue and uh, do even better. Strive to go above and beyond. Thank you. Thank you so much. With your permission, we will continue with the part of taking the of office. And I will start by welcoming Mr. Mutomi Alan Davis, the coming. We have agreed because of time, we'll take the other office, sign, there's a small part which will complete later in the day. I, 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 registration number B141 stroke 269 stroke 2020, having the duly elected exercise, exercise the function of the member of U.S. Student Council as the special representative to swear that. I will faithfully to the University of Embu Student Association that I will obey and uphold the constitution of the University of Embu Student Association that I will abide by the rules and regulations of the University of Embu and that and all the laws of the Republic of Kenya that I will undertake and hold my office as the member of the Student Council of the University of Embu Student Association with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor 
that I will I that I will not directly divulge such matters as shall come to my knowledge in in the discharge of my duties as an elected member of the student council in the position and assigned bureau and that I will perform the functions of my office honestly and to the best of my ability. So help me God. As the science, I have the pleasure to welcome Madam Lucy Nyambura Wanganga, the incoming female representative. Thank you for